It's 10.24. Uh, we're just leaving uh, Lurdingham now. Uh, it's carried over a bit and it's threatening to rain, which is annoying because I've put my put my, uh, rain jacket right at the bottom of my bag because, uh, you know, I put ultimate faith in the weather, but yeah, I maybe want a smart decision. Anyway, the shorts are on, finally. And uh, yeah, just heading um, towards Svolva. Um, got a turn left up here and then I think there's a bit of a steepish climb. Um, and then there's a gas station at 20k to pick, pick up some supplies because obviously it's Sunday today so everything's shut. And then apparently there's like a bunch of tunnels and uh, one of them's like seven kilometres long. Um, which sounds quite cool but I don't really like tunnels, they're kind of scary. And uh, the aim of the game will basically not to be not get hit by anything. But I've got some lights. Uh, got my orange uh, scarf on so hopefully we'll be all right uh, yeah what's a bit annoying though is that I washed my kit again last night and uh, the man at the uh, hostel he's like oh we've got this dry room downstairs it's very warm in there they'll be dry in the morning and I was there just like lining them all up on the radiator and putting it on full blast guess what they weren't dry this morning so my shorts are wet and yeah it's a bit uncomfortable to be honest but hopefully uh, yeah the uh, baking the foot and sun will sort that out soon uh, I even put sun cream on today so yeah I'm positive I think I fancy uh, climbing up that. So we're at Checkpoint Charlie and just filling up the tank. Uh, super unleaded, of course. Um, should get us on our way to Svolva. Uh, it's about 80 kilometres away. And uh, yeah, now it's time to go down some tunnels, so I better switch the old lights on. My hands are cold. Like so. And, uh, yeah, just down a little descent there. There was oil everywhere. It was a bit like deep water horizon or something. But, uh, yeah, feeling good. Knees all right. Sun's come out. I had to put the uh, rain jacket on earlier because, well, as soon as I sent that last video, it started raining. But uh, yeah, let's crack on. First tunnel. Yeah, just behind. Well, you can't quite see it, but yeah, 6.4k. Um, taking the black rain jacket off. Otherwise, my dad wouldn't speak to me. Uh, lights are on. Turn the music off as well and uh, stay vigilant. Um, yeah, if I don't make it out the other side, tell my mum I love her very dearly. Tell you what, it's quite a steep downhill. And it's absolutely freezing down here as well. But uh, I guess at least you're out of the rain. Uh, yeah, I don't know how deep this goes. No, well, hit China, I'll uh, let you know. That was actually pretty good fun. Uh, not as scary as I uh, thought. There was like plenty of room. And uh, more cars seem to be going like the other way than like the way I'm going. And uh, now emerged in bright sunshine, which is good. Can't feel my hands on my feet anymore, but yeah, hey. Uh,
tunnel number two. Tunnel number three. Four. Very precise distance as well. I stand corrected. It seems that Lefurton starts now. And there's another bridge. Too high a gear. Nice. It's 1.15 and I uh, found this nice rock to sit on in this nice little bay and it's snack time so the usual suspects as you uh, probably could guess but um, yeah I want to say because I forgot um, to say this the other day that Monique I found these um, the dates with the coconuts uh, the desiccated coconut on them and I uh, just want to say that I apologise for ever doubting you in that they exist um, as they clearly do <laughs> and um, yeah I, um, it turns out that these ones are much better than the ones with the caramel on and also that yeah maybe you saw that um, it turns out reindeer like them too um, but this particular bag actually smells quite a lot of petrol. Number five. Six. Now, if someone was to ask me what the photon looks like. I would say that this hits the nail pretty much smack on the head. Seven! Oh man, I, Tunnel 7. Forgot what you called, but man, yeah, it went like down to below 100 metres underneath the sea. And then. Like climbing out of it, flipping heck. Um, I don't know what like the gradient was because obviously your GPS kind of breaks down, but man, that's pretty tough. Slurva Fjord Tunnel, 3,340 meters. So what's that like? So there's a flat bit in the bottom, like a thousand meters up, a thousand meters across, hundred meters up. Yeah. What's that, like nearly 10%? Crikey. Hey! It's better not be as deep as that last one. It's only a short one though.
So we're in Svalbard now. Nice little quaint fishing town, I guess. <laughs> yeah, has to be fish for dinner, I think. So I think I figured out why I've been going so slow today. Not just due to uh, taking pictures, but uh, this bag on the back. I'm not sure why. I mean, I did have quite a lot of stuff in it, but it's basically been sitting on my wheel all day. And so I burnt a hole straight through it and through the uh, little airlocky thing. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> and I only just noticed um, it was like squeaking a bit. But yeah, because I've had my headphones on. I haven't, I haven't heard like a constant rubbing for God knows how long. So that went well. But uh, nearly at the spot now. Um, yeah, so I just want to get there really. At least the sun's shining. It's actually still quite warm. Good stuff. Turn! So this is Henningsvar. It's very picturesque. It's cool, I like the water's so clear that, yeah, it's got like this green, green turquoisey tinge. Yeah, it doesn't look like this in uh, Scarborough. I know that much. But yeah, like a little swim tomorrow morning. That should be quite good. So I reckon that the Bridge of the Day Award for today is uh, this. The Henning, Henningsvar Brun. There were two reasons, really, why I wanted to come to Lofoten. Uh, the first one being, I want to check that the fish burgers here really are 85% fish, as the, uh, the packaging claims. And I'll be testing out that uh, later, hopefully. And the other reason is this. So this is Henningsvar Stadion. And yeah, I remember seeing like one of those articles on like Sport Bible or something. And like from the air, this place like looks insane. I like, just imagine, you know, turning up on a Sunday morning and yeah, playing here is like your own ground. So yeah, it'd be nice, it'd be nice to have a bit of a kick around really. Uh, but, um, yeah, Sunday night, so not many people are around, but. If I could go find a ball and a spare pair of size 42s, then yeah, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? I'm not 100% sure what all this wooden scaffolding is in aim of, but it does look about as sturdy as the main stand at Bootham Crescent. But yeah, I don't think I'll sit on it. So today's end of game summary comes from uh, pitch side here at the stadion and uh, yeah I look like an idiot because I've got my rascabrilla on <laughs> yeah, like I do sport but um, yeah a relatively shorter, short, well, shorter day like 128k took it really steady to be honest like lots of taking pictures and messing about in tunnels um, set off from Lerdingen up that hill uh, rained on and off, uh, but then yeah, once on the other side started going up and down the tunnels, the weather sort of sorted, it, sorted itself out, and uh, yeah, super nice now. So happy days. Um, I want to fact check myself on uh, that cal gradient calculation on the tunnel. B 
because yeah it's, it wasn't 10 percent. it was more like well like five or six i'd say but um but yeah it was hard work getting out of it i wonder if there's a like i haven't checked but i wonder if there's like a strava segment for it it's like you'd be king of the mountains but it'd all be underwater but yeah so you'd be like, i don't know what that'd be <laughs> but um yeah now the tunnels were quite yeah not too bad um i got beat once but what can you do um and then yeah just sort of going around all the fjords and the sea and the lakes yeah it was again just super nice and um yeah sitting on that rock for a bit of food was good uh, then yeah got to Svolva which actually I didn't like it that as, as much because there was like loads of people there um, <laughs> you know these damn tourists just everywhere shocking <laughs> and um well yeah then what once got past there and then sort of out towards this where and then sort of as soon as you turned off to this Hennings are um you know these islands here yeah this is like really nice um yeah stats of the day what um one snickers or like one of the double ones anyway uh three bananas oh and i had another one of the uh, uh peanut skull and butter banana uh which was good yeah and i'm gonna put this out there this is controversial but i'm gonna say right now that the skull and butter from shell garages are better from circle k I know that's um, sacrilege to say in Norway, but it's true. So yeah, now I'm gonna go find a bit of dinner, uh, probably fish based in some form. And uh, yeah, then tomorrow, just sort of similar again, similar distance, I think, down to get the ferry from Moskenes. Um Yeah, you get the ferry from there to uh, Bode. And um, yeah, then there's this town called O, you know, just like a single letter. And apparently there's not a lot there, but I don't know, I feel like you should probably go there and take a picture by the sign or something. Um, so yeah, until tomorrow, see you later.